Pandemonium. We're here in the shop today and I'm going to show you how to do a leak test on your engine. You're going to need an old spark plug and an air coupler for off your air tool. What you're going to do is you're going to take and you're going to break out the porcelain that's in this spark plug. And then you're just going to be left with the spark plug body, the metal body. And then you'll take the coupler itself and you'll insert that into the plug body and you'll weld that in there. And when you get that done, you're going to have something that looks like this. And what we're going to use this for is we're going to screw this into the head and we're going to put air into the engine. And at which point, if it leaks, it's going to let us evaluate the engine at that point to see what is going on inside of it. This bike here is a Yamaha 650. We dug it out of a barn. We're wanting to see the condition of the engine. Take out your spark plug, screw this in there. <clears throat> Bring the piston to top dead center on compression stroke with the intake and exhaust valve closed. And you'll just tighten this up just like you would a spark plug. You plug in your air line there. We're going to use uh, regulated air here. We don't want to use full line pressure, shop line pressure. Um, what we're after here is anywhere between six to nine, six to ten pounds approximately. Get this plug. And as you can see, we're at three pounds right now, and I can already hear it leaking. So we'll go ahead and turn this up to about, about nine pounds. Now with the piston at top dead center and both valves closed, this engine is leaking air. For example, to check your intake valve, you'll wet the back of your finger, and you'll put it in front of the carburetor with the carburetor throttle blade wide open at which point I don't feel any air leaking there. So that tells me that the intake valve and seat is in good condition, or pretty good condition. Then we'll go down here and we'll do the same with the exhaust. If air was leaking past the exhaust valve and seat, I would be feeling air here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to check the crankcase. <clears throat> if this were like a Harley or a V-twin, uh, you'd go to the head breather or to the oil tank. Um, to see if there was any air there. Immediately right there, that is where my air is coming from. So that tells me uh, piston bore, rings, pistons, uh, something's worn in there. Um, and it's blowing air past by and through. Uh, and just that quick, I evaluated this engine. So this engine is going to need rebuilt. This is a very simple, straightforward to do. Don't cost a whole lot. Typically you have everything around the shop to put this together um, and you've seen how quickly I did it. Um, you can do it on for your bikes, your buddy's bikes, if you own a shop, it's a simple tool put together very quickly to evaluate a customer's bike to give them an idea of what potential repairs that their bike is going to need um, and it doesn't take no time. Thanks for watching my tech video and if you have any questions you can reach me at Pandemonium. Um, and you can look for my uh, monthly tech articles in Cycle Source magazine.